Okay. So this is how I set up for engraving a pumpkin, as you see before you. This is called the scary pumpkin. I test printed on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, along with some other designs. Save the transfer paper, the transparency as much as possible. So I try to print on one whole strip. So when I slice it off in the paper cutter, uh, I don't waste any empty spaces. And I check it with my one inch because I'm going to be engraving on a one inch disc. I check my. Excuse me. I check my size and let's see. So this is one inch here. So I place it over the test printing on regular paper. And I see this one's a little bit large, but the effect will still get through. Okay, so then that I know that it fits on uh, one inch, I'll print it out actual size on the transfer paper. And this is this stuff that comes from Tom White. And you put the, see the little notch in the top right corner, and you put that on the print side. So I would put it in my printer this. I've run two prints off this sheet already, so I've sliced off two or three inches. Put it in like that, and then it would print the same way I printed my paper. So then, I get this stuff, Transfer Magic White by Tom White. Shape well. I dab a little bit on the tip of a Q-tip, and then you rub it on the side, the lip of the bottle, because you don't need much at all. And then I rub this onto the back of my or the front, or whatever side you're gonna your disc, and then I have my transparency. This is not going to be the, the pumpkin because I've already done it, and then I tape it to the side, push it down, and then I burnish it. I rub it with either my fingernail or some other hard tool. Uh, the tool I use is a burnisher. This is, I don't know where I got this thing, but I will burnish this on to the transfer, transfer, what is it called? Magic, transfer magic white. Then, when I'm done with that, I will end up with this. So this is the image that through this process, I've transferred onto a copper disc, one inch copper disc. Okay, now I've got the copper disc. I placed it in my engraving block, which is a rotating vise. This is an old Vigor block from the 70s uh, that I purchased after or while I was taking a course in GIA from Charlie Weber. And then, let me focus in on that. And I'll probably engrave for a few minutes, and then I'll shut off, and then we'll go to a uh, time lapse. I use a, um, a Lindsay handpiece with, I think this is a 105 um, configured, speed steel graver. So let's do that for a little while 
and you can see how I start. Sometimes you lose the lines in the transfer near the edges, so you just sort of got to guess. So I'm guessing there's a line right about here. I'm using my outline to make it a little deeper. a foot pedal that uh, when I press it down it goes full speed like it is now and then I can let it off when I get near the end of the cut and it'll slow things down like right now I'm starting to slow it down and I flick out and I'll do the stem of this coconut I mean, pumpkin. Shading on the interior lines, I make it a little bit lighter. do that. Here's another heavy line. Outline. I make heavier. finished product and so what I've done you can see from the last two parts of the time lapse I've, I've textured the mouth the eyes and the nose and I've done that just with the same bit that I engraved all the lines and it has a different texture a deeper texture than the one I use for the background now the background is just a uh, more rounded, it's not as sharp, so the texture there is a little bit different. And that's it. That's all for now.